Hi, it's Stephen Keith with Brownells, and we're here again at Rock Island Auction House to bring you another rare piece from the vault. And today, Keith, you've got something that's pretty much unobtainium. You got that right. This is one of the rarest of the rare of Smith & Wesson revolvers, what is called the Baby Air Crewman. Yeah. Yep. yep, this was a J-frame, or this is a J-frame Smith & Wesson that was made for the U.S. Air Force. But what's really special about this is that it's an aluminum frame with an aluminum cylinder. Mm -hmm. Now the trouble with these was that the ammunition that they were using at the time was a little too high pressure because it wouldn't be about two years before the ammo would catch up with the guns. By then it was too late. So they were having problems with the cylinders cracking, blowing the guns up and stuff like that. But these were really made for the Air Force uh, air crews, pilots, bomber pilots. I mean, if if you were in a pinch, planes down or something, you needed a gun, you'd have right. one of these. And now the Air Force mainly uh, for the air crewmen used a larger K-frame, the M13. But there was a select few of these, 605 that were made. And these are pretty rare because they were all order destroyed. These in the M13 as well as the Colt air crewmen. Well, somewhere along the way, somebody or so, or some people uh, decide to cabbage onto these along the way and How save, can you resist? Yeah, save them from destruction. So there's around 10 of these documented that are known to exist. And there's a really easy way to tell it what they are because other than the aluminum cylinder, you'll see the property of U.S. Air Force that's marked on the back right here. There's air crewman stamped on the right, right side of the barrel. And then there is also a specific serial number, AFNO, and then the serial number of the gun on the butt of the frame. Now along the way, a lot of these, or the several of them, or most of them that I've seen, have had that property of US Air Force wiped off right there. They were sanded down. Sanded down the serial number because before 1968, it wasn't an issue of altering okay. the serial number. And then this would be filed off or whatever because it was basically U.S. government property that they had salvaged from destruction. Salvaged, yeah. yeah salvaged salvage is a kind word. Salvaged is a kind word. And, uh, and so if you see a, gun, a little J-frame Smith & Wesson with aluminum cylinder, don't shoot it, but double check your back strap right here and also check, you'll see a serial number right here on the back of the cylinder. You'll look underneath your extractor star, there'll be a serial number right there. And there will be a number eight inside of your cylinder right here. And then in the side plate, there's also an eight right there. Nice. So that identifies that as this was a baby air crewman. And these are pretty much the rarest of rare. Oh, one other thing, there's also a government P, which was a proof mark, proof accepted stamp. But these little things weigh about 10 ounces, and if the ammunition had been right at the time, they would have been an awesome little piece. Right, but they were just putting regular old 38 yeah. Special in there. Right. Man, that's a, that is a lightweight gun. You could forget that it's in your pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flat latch. Yeah, flat latch. Now, one other thing about these, they also had U.S. Air Force emblem medallions in the grips. Oh, I totally missed that. Yep. Yeah. Now, the rest of them, usually didn't have it. They had like Smith & Wesson in the, in the Smith & Wesson on the K-frame grips. Now Colt had some with the Air Force medallions, but okay. now they did have a steel barrel right. and, and the steel hammer stuff, right. but they're still super, super lightweight. Yeah, uh, you would have to shoot like the equivalent of target ammo in there or something yeah. to, to get away with that. Yeah, but Yes, that is the Baby Air Crewman and one of the rare Smith & Wessons around. And I think the last one at auction sold for about $40,000. Wow. It's probably the last one you and I are going to see for a while. Yeah. Yep. You got that right. Well, as always, we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for letting us come by and see things like this. We'd like to thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments about this gun, please feel free to let us know in the comments section. And if you happen to have any experience, some of you old veterans out there, with these guns, let us know. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.